Appalachian Outdoors. Out here back with you uh, sitting around the fire pit. Been down in the back a little bit today. Took a day off work trying to sit around and just let my back relax a little bit. Sun's gone down, shade's come over. Start to cool off a little bit so I figured I'd come outside and get a little fresh air and show you another knife. This is the uh, Victor Knox Swiss Army knife. This is the Hacker model. It's my favorite pocket knife. You can catch that in the camera or not, but you can see all the scuffs and stuff. This has been carried in my pocket for a long time. A little bead my buddy made. Anyway, that rides in my pocket. I don't go anywhere. Yellow jackets are flying around everywhere. I don't go anywhere without a Swiss Army knife. This is in my pocket, and I've got another one. I can't exactly remember the model. It's a little next size up from this. But it's got the saw and the scissors in it. Uh, Anyway, I've got one of the two in my pocket all the time. I never leave home without it. Uh, I always, if I get, I always recommend if you get a Swiss Army knife, at least get one with the saw in it. To me, that is, this and the blade are the two most useful tools that you're going to get on it. Give you a little look here. Now, the other thing that I always carry on me, my truck keys. On my truck keys, I have a little mini ferro rod. Just keep it on there. Otherwise, start fire. I also have a big lighter in my pocket, but you know, you never know when that big's going to get wet or not work or run out of fuel. And this is my other option, my second option for it. So, I'll show you why I like saw. And these saws on these Swiss Army knives, they are sharp. The, they, they work. But uh, just give you an example. So I can zoom in just a little bit more. There we go. Let's see. Flip around so nice. Wood is damp. It's been out. Pretty good or not? This is all damp stuff here. Let's play around. Let's see. A little fine shaving is there. And you see it cuts deep too. This is awesome little saw. Sawdust up. Let's get the blade out on this. Cut up some curls. Throw them in the tinder pile. Fixed blade is nice to have. If you can do pretty much anything you need to do, just short of chopping or something similar to that, with a pocket knife. I'm not a big pocket knife guy. I don't have a whole lot of pocket knives just because I do like a fixed blade better. But if I carry a pocket knife, this is it. I do carry a large locking folder sometimes. Or, well, every time. But uh, this comes out of my pocket before it does. This is, gets used a whole lot more than anything I've got. I just love these little knives. Hard to beat for 30 or 40 bucks. Somewhere along that line.
feather sticks with that. Let's go back and play with the saw a little bit more. See that in the camera, the real fine shavings coming off that. Anyway. All them little shavings in there, like that. As far as the, you can use the dowel on the ferro rod. What? Use the spine of the saw. Tell you what, let's grab this little piece of jute twine here. I like jute twine. One of my favorite tenders. Pull it all apart here and braid it all up. For each individual strand you can take, just unbraid each one and it just closes right up into really nice tender as long as you keep it dry. It's not dry, it's just like anything else, you have a hard time lighting. But if it's dry, it takes a spark pretty quick. I keep a little jute twine in all my kits in a place where it will stay dry. You can use it for, you can buy the stuff cheap. You can use it for tying stuff down, light duty tying. Now this stuff, not got a lot of tensile strength to it. But, uh, light duty tying, uh, fire tender, stuff like that. bottom let's put our tender on top of that like that now let's get our saw back up Some smoke and some embers are burning. Throw a few more sparks on. Right. Wanting to, but it's not. I guess I should have left all this out. Kind of got damp. There we go. That's the beauty of juke twine. Anyway, see how that works. Always carry a Swiss Army knife and a throw rod. There you go. Appalachian Outdoors out. God bless.